Okay, so next up, let's uh, let's create an enum type vari variable or enumeration type, and we're going to do this outside of the actual class. Okay, so uh, tip, you know, before we were writing inside of here, well, now we're going to actually write in outside of here. So we're going to specify enum, and I rather like the example I used in the the first time I taught this. Swift one, so we'll keep it uh, keep it the same. So we're gonna have a, uh, a a direction message here, and at first you're gonna see that you get a little complaint about it that it doesn't want you to put in here a specific type. But uh, once you start typing uh, yonder over here, uh, you're gonna kind of get rid of that message. So this is gonna be a, a this could be a direction message in a game. You know, for example, your character was moving toward the north, so you're gonna put in here case north uh, toward the village. And then case south is going to equal toward Mordor, right? Wasn't that, if I'm familiar with my Lord of the Rings maps, toward Rivendell. I can't remember if that one's correct or not. I do think that was east. Case west and where the elves are from. Or do they go east? I can't remember. All right, so uh, now what we're going to do is uh, make use of our direction direction a message. So let's go down here. Let's change. Uh, well, we'll just make a new string uh, var uh, direction text. And for right now, let's just actually we could if we always knew it was going to be you are heading in the beginning. There we go. We could put that. And you know, it's so it's uh, let's make these not capital. And we'll leave that space in there. So then what we'll do is we'll print out our uh, direction text plus the direction message. So we're going to put over here direction message. And you notice that as soon as I start typing that, well, at first it, it suggests the direction text, which it's fine to do. But we're going to go up one. And then this is going to be our direction message. And then we're going to put in here uh, dot north and we're going to spit out the raw value of that which is actually going to be the string so then we could there we go get that uh, right out of there you are heading toward the village so uh, what you could do is let's come down here Let's create a, a variable called current direction, and we're going to specify that this is going to be uh, direction. You know what? Let's uh, make this a little bit more flexible. Let's not just call it message. We'll just say direction right there. So we'll say direction, and then initially we'll 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 go north, right? So then we can create a switch statement down here. So we'll say switch. And what we're going to query is whether what the current direction is. So we put in there switch current direction, and then we can put in all of our possible uh, values for this. So we might say case dot north, and in which case uh, we're going to print out. Uh, I don't know. Just for right now, let's just put it there. Well, you know what? We'll put in here this. Why not? And you get where this is headed, of course. So good thing I only have four options here. <laughs> Otherwise, you're skipping ahead a little bit, aren't you? Okay, let's uh, pretty that up a little bit, and let's uh, let's see what happens. Build succeeded. That's always a good sign. And of course, we are now heading toward the village. But if this was south as our current direction, which it might be, if let's say we swiped down or something like that, we've now uh, oh, oh, whoops! Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I didn't actually print out <laughs> any of these things inside of here. Maybe that's why I was uh, kind of formatting that weird. There we go. It's like, wait a minute. Now we've got it. It's funny that there was no complaint about just doing that. <laughs> 
Okay, so, all right, we're going to the south, and of course now this says that we're heading uh, toward Mortar. So as I was saying before, you might have swipe gestures or something like that that change what the current direction is, and then you could print out a, uh, a, a new value there. But of course, too, you, we're not only using this, um, or we don't have to only use this for printing out a, a particular message. Uh, now, you can see in these case statements down here, we're just kind of just seeing if you're going north or you're going south, whatever. So you could do all sorts of different things right here. You might say uh, speed now equals uh, 10 because it's because um, that's your speed going north. Or you could say speed equals 5 because going south is more rugged terrain, right? Now, of course, we'd have to have a, a speed variable up here for that. So speed int equals, let's just say 5 by default. Okay, so you could change those based on what are you complaining about over here? Oh, <laughs> yes, all right, speed is reserved now, I forgot that, faster speed, there we go, so you put in there, this is like, what is, I know that's right, come on, okay, yep, and there you go, so the lesson never ends, speed is uh, not a variable that you can just uh, use nowadays, you know what another one like that is, which I found out recently, if you try to put in here var repeat, uh, let's say that equals 10. Watch this. Let's see. I think it's going to complain too. Build fail. Yeah, proper. To, right. Yeah. Okay. So there you go. Can't use speed and you can't use repeat. Thanks. Uh, okay. So that uh, you get to see uh, what an enum type uh, looks like. You can get a raw value out of that. And well, you know what too? Let's um, let's do this. Let's uh, make one that is uh, not a string. So we're going to do uh, d d direction speed maybe. Okay. So we'll take uh, this out of here and let's do um, slow let's format this completely different actually slow medium and fast okay <clears throat> now watch what happens we're gonna put in here print and then uh, direction speed dot slow dot raw value oh right equals zero there you have it Okay, so I did have to put in there int. So I could start that off at uh, zero, or what I could do is start this off at uh, any other number that I want. But uh, obviously now if I run this again, I'm going to see five down here. But what happens if I put in uh, print direction speeds dot medium dot raw value? What do you think that value is going to be at? Six. It just incremented it up by one. So how cool is that? And obviously if I put in here five as the raw value it's going to be or fast as the, uh, the type seven right so uh, now how can you use that well, I don't know um, <laughs> most of a lot of times when you're using these uh, edum types you're really not even thinking about um, using the raw values I mean it's just kind of it is in some sense kind of neat that that you know if you started off at five at the next one in here is gonna be six next one in here is gonna be seven but I'd say most of the time all you're doing is you're just kind of coming up with these vague variables that are just gonna equal something only to you and you're not really worrying about getting that raw value out of them so even though I did kind of as a convenience put in here some some string uh, data for north south east and west I might never even use it but I am using if you know I'm going north if I'm going south if I'm going east in the switch statement and I'm just doing things based only on that so I'll see you in the next video